Hey there guys, it's Miss Baca here and my first book I'm reading is called Sophia Valdez, Future Prez, written by Andrea Beatty, illustrated by David Roberts. Let's see what happens in the story. Hmm. Sophia Valdez, Future Prez. Sophia was a baby who got things done, helping her family before she turned one. She and Abuela went out every week to help elderly friends around Blue River Creek, who couldn't get out and about on their own, and with no place to gather, were stuck home alone. It is so nice of them to help out like that, isn't it? Breaking the leaves, taking pets for a walk, or just dropping by for a treat and a talk, Sophia Valdez did as much as she could for her family and friends and her whole neighborhood. A dreamer, a doer, a real life go-getter. Most people like good, but Sophia liked better. That is so awesome that she goes above and beyond like that. Ooh, I like how the text is on this page. Each morning, Abuela walked Sophie to class. They walked home again along Blue River Pass, making plans, munching cookies, Abuelo and girl, except for that Tuesday when pups saw the squirrel. Uh-oh. With a howl, pup took off, racing all through the town, over, under, beneath, and all around. Sophia scrambled to try to keep up with the hollering man and the bellowing pup. Oh no. Do you think something bad's gonna happen here? Oh, I'm afraid if something bad happens. Oh. Up the squirrel ran to a top to the top of a hill made of leftover junk from the local landfill. They reached to the tip top of that mountain of trash, which jiggled and broke with an ear splitting crash. Oh no. Down they all tumbled and hit with a thud on a moldy old pumpkin surrounded by mud. Ugh. Ouch, cried Abuelo. He struggled to stand. What a dangerous mess, he said, grasping her hand. Oh no. Poor Abuelo. Man. Hope he gets better soon. The next day, Sophia walked to school solo, but it wasn't the same without her abuela. This is not right, declared young Sophia, who glared at Mount Trashmore and got an idea. Hmm. I wonder what kind of idea she got. I'm very curious to find out. The next morning at half past dawn, she planted a sign on the front of the lawn. She stood back and smiled and Pup gave a bark. Get rid of Mount Trashmore. Let's build a new park. That is a marvelous idea, isn't it? Way to go, Sophia. Each of her neighbors had something to say about benches and fountains and places to play. Meeting spots, gardens, and a basket for bees, a rubber duck pond, and a kiosk for cheese. She drew every thought on her map of the park, which was perfectly perfect. 
by a quarter till dark. Isn't that awesome her community got together like that to help her with her dream? She drifted to sleep in her soft, cozy bed. Then, bam! She woke up when a thought smacked her head. Her heart skipped a beat as she realized each one of her neighbors had said, Let me know when it's done. They all thought Sophia could build it alone. But how could one girl do so much on her own? The weight of that thought made her tender heart ache as night thunder growled and she lay wide awake. Then dawn brought, the, brought a storm and the gloomy sky wept and the heartsick Sophia finally slept. Oh, poor Sophia. How is she going to do it all on her own? Let's see and find out. Abuelo baked cookies when Sophie got up. He gave her a bag full and sneaked one to pup. He blinked back a tear as he hugged his Sophia. For courage, he whispered. Te amo mi vida. Sophia's knees wobbled. She felt weak inside. She looked at his ankle and quite nearly cried. Though she didn't feel brave or courageous at all, Sofia Valdez went to face City Hall. That is so courageous of her to do, isn't it? And there she is. All alone at City Hall. How do you think she feels going into City Hall all by herself like that? I know if it was me, I'd be really scared and nervous. Do you think that she's going to get the job done? Let's see what happens. The mayor's office sent her to room 401 the Blue River Creek Department of Fun, which sent her downstairs to room 302, the Office of Duck Ponds and Cool Things to Do, to the Office of Monkeys, the Department of Cheese, the Division of Fountains and Me Meetings and Bees. Then down to the basement, so musty and cramped, where all the town's papers were sorted and stamped. And that's where the clerk said what no one else did. You can't build a park. You're only a kid. Don't you think that would hurt Sophia's feelings? I know it would hurt mine if someone told me something like that. The words smacked Sophia deep in her heart. Her plan was kiboshed before it could even start. I think, Sophia said, I think that law's wrong. But her second grade voice didn't sound very strong. The clerk said, clearly it cannot be done. Do you have any questions? Sophia said, one. If you were me and I were you and he was your grandpa, what would you do? It's a very good question of her to ask, isn't it? Hi, well, said the clerk. Then she said nothing at all. She thought and she thought. Then she sent out a call to every employee throughout City Hall.
Why do you think she sent out the call for for all the employees to for all the employees? Do you think maybe it was to hear Sophia's idea? Quite possibly. The entire government of Blue River Creek rammed into the office to hear Sophia speak. But her words jumbled up and her cheeks turned red as a dozen emotions rushed to her head. Her heart beat so loudly she thought it would crack. The crowd leaned closer. Sophia leaned back. Then her arm brushed the edge of that old cookie sack. And that, and that was the moment when Sophia first knew that being brave means doing things you must do. Though your heart cracks with fear, though you're just in grade two. I really like that statement there. Being brave means doing things you must do, though your heart cracks with fear. She took a deep breath, looked at the mare in the eye, and though her knees wobbled, she held her head high. Sophia started talking. She spelled out her plan and why it all mattered and how it began. And once she got rolling, she had lots to say about meeting spots, monkeys, and places to play, and other ideas for things they could do to help the town elders and other folks too. She had thoughts on the library, thoughts on the zoo, and perhaps a way to combine the two, and... Whoa! Look at all the ideas she's got going on, huh? Pretty cool. All right! cried the mayor. Go start a petition. If the town wants a new park, we'll form a commission. And so young Sophia got right to work with some help from her family and pup and the clerk. That is so cool that the clerk agreed with her idea and jumped in to help her. Then others joined in, not all, but a few, like Miss Lila Greer and the kids in grade two. How cool is that? She got all those people all together to get a new park. There were hearings and surveys and taxes to figure, then bulldozer crane, bulldozers, cranes, and a blue bigger digger. They all built the park. That's how it got done. With the hard work of, by, and for everyone. But it began with the dream of one person, just one, who laced up her shoes and then led the way to help Blue River Creek get a new place to play. Now every evening till long after dark, the, t the town comes together at Citizens Park. They all hold this truth to be self-evident, that Sofia Valdez could grow up to be president. Until then, Sofia, the real-life go-getter, helps Blue River Creek get better and better. And that's the end of the story. I really enjoyed that book. It's very motivational. And it really inspires me, and I hope it inspires you. Because even though you're just one person, you could always do, you could always make a big difference. Anyways, I hope y'all all have a lovely day. Please remember my class rules. Love yourself and love others. I send my love to y'all. Bye-bye.